today's Preventure Adventure. We are coming to you from Waterford, Connecticut, Nana's Derek. It is, as you can see, a pizza place. But Nana is, well, Nana is the grandmother or the mother from the Balkans. And Birek is like a uh, a Balkan, I guess I could say pie, but it's got, you have a choice of either a meat filling, a cheese filling, or a spinach filling. So I got a pizza, some meatballs, and I ordered a slice of the meat filling Birek. Then I got a couple others to take home with me it's for my uh, son and grandson to try. So the order's in, I'm sitting outside, and we're just going to wait for the food to come out. The food, has, or some of the food, the first part of the food has just come out. So let me show you what I've got. This is the Birek, and I'm going to try to show you better what this is. I had never heard of it before I came to this place. And these are the meatballs. So let me start with a taste of the meatballs, just a, nice and firm. A lot of sauce. Good, not sure they're cooked in the sauce. Not sure about that. So here's here's the uh, the bidek. It's a flaky crust, kind of like a pie actually. It's a Balkan Balkan thing from the Balkans. Plenty of garlic. Plenty of flavor. You can buy these by the slice or you can buy a whole one. I got a pizza. I'm kind of questioning why I didn't just get a whole one because this is rare, it's really good. Rare for this part of the world, I think. I've never seen this before. So, all right, let's uh, shut down and wait for the pizza to come. The pizza has arrived. And there she is in all her glory. As you can see, nice thin crust. Uh, I'm not sure what style this is, but if I was to take a guess, I'd say Italian. I don't know. They're from the Balkans, so I don't. You, you take that for what it's worth. There's the pizza. Nice bottom. Pulls up fairly well. Oh, I'm losing stuff. Which, by the way, is not a problem for me. I just love eating that stuff by itself anyhow, so not an issue. This is a chewier crust. Nice flavor. Certainly plenty of cheese. Good stuff, good stuff. So let me finish up what little I can because the meatballs in the beer rack by itself was a meal without having any pizza. Be taking most of this home with me. And uh, we'll come back and do, the owner has agreed also to come on camera and talk to us. So we'll do that and then we'll do a uh, wrap up. All right, we are back. Val, the owner of Nana's, has kindly decided to come out and chat with us and tell us a bit about herself and her business. And she and I are both pretty new at this, so we're going to try to get through this without messing up too bad. This is Val. Whoop, do that. Hi, everybody. Um, first off, what made you decide to go into a business like this? So I've been in the restaurant business for like over 15 years before I opened my own, and I did... I bid seven and a half years family and eight years corporate. So I have done pretty much everything from washing dishes to managing corporate. 
and kitchen has been really at all times my passion I absolutely love and enjoy cooking and um, I love people so when you like food and you like people there's no brainer by the way I'm, I'm jumping back in here because I should have thrown this in here I put that in, I put this in my Google review months ago this woman is probably one of the nicest most humble people I have ever met in my life so uh, anything she's sharing with us is I just find her to be an amazing person to talk to I just want to throw that in there all right let's see. Thank you, Bruce. Oh, my pleasure. I, I really appreciate your kindness, and um, I appreciate all my customers and everybody who supported us here at Nana's. So I just finished my third year in business, and you you have amazing reviews on Google Maps. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but you're you're. I don't mean to embarrass you. I, it's I know okay. this is not your thing, <laughs> okay. but your your ratings are really very high, uh, which means you're doing something right. And people really appreciate what you do here. Anything you want to share about your how you name the place or anything? Or? So actually, I appreciate all my customers' reviews. They all come from my customers from their heart. And I started this with all family recipes. My dough, my sauce is 100% all family recipes, gluten-free, dairy-free, My both my sauces. My house um, dressing is also gluten-free, dairy-free. And the way and who got the credit for the name and actually credit goes to my son when I always wanted to open my own little place and when I got ready to open Nana's my son questioned how I learned how to cook and all of details so I said my dough recipes my sauce recipes they all come from family so he's like it's only fair that you name it Nana so I name it Nana's Burek <laughs> Because Birak is just a special pie, different pie. He, he was right on. So <laughs> you said something about how kids can come here and have birthday parties and make their own pizza. You want to talk about that at all? Yeah, so normally, although I offer a little bit of everything on the menu, from like pizza grinders to Birak, which is a different pie, it's a special feel -a dough pie, I let kids make their own pizzas, and I do kids' birthday parties, as long as COVID cooperate with us and let us have them here. And then I do catering as well. So... But the kids get to make their own pizzas, is that? Yeah, we just give them a little piece of dough, sauce, cheese. We guide them through. They make their pizza. I bring them for a little tour in the kitchen. They get to see where dough is made. They get to see our pizza oven. They get to see where I make my pizza, so I do my cooking. So Nice. Yeah. Any last thing you want to share with us? I just want to say, if you haven't tried Nana, stop by and try it. We are always accommodating people to try sample of pizza or sample of birek because everybody's curious what is birek. It's a different type of pie. So stop by and try us. We're right here at 316 Boston Post Road in Waterford, Connecticut. Open six days a week, close Mondays. Nice. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. We appreciate Let's wrap up here at uh, Nana's Birek. Birek. <laughs> Sorry, Val. I'll never get that right. Um, here in Waterford, Connecticut. Um, the meatballs, I love the sauce. The sauce was really good. The meatballs were, were firm and, and strong and, and, and tasted okay, but I like mine simmered in sauce, which I don't believe these were, but that's just a personal preference. They certainly were quality meatballs. The birek, the meat, that thing is so good. It, it really is. Um, I got a couple other slices to take home for my family to try. Just just to try the beer deck, you got to stop by and give that a shot. And um, the pizza, nice chewy crust, not crisp, but chewy. Good flavor, nice sauce. I think she said she makes all her own sauce here. She's really proud of her sauces. And, and I can see why, because it's just really good flavor. Lots of pepperoni on it. Um, just a very, and, and, and what really nice people. I, I went back in to talk to them. Just really nice. So, scale of 0 to 10. I'm going to go 9.3. Uh, and you, as you know, anything over 9 is pretty exceptional. And I really, really liked it. I really like it. It's my second time here. Uh, it's a 45-minute drive and, and well worth it. I would drive it again. I wasn't busy trying out all different places, but Nana's Barrack here in Waterford, um, 9.3, worth it. Great, great, great stuff.